Thayer, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and Happy Valentine's Day. And you know, this might be a miracle worker for y'all on Valentine's Day, because some of y'all might need some extra help. And these are aphrodisiac brownies, and um, that is actually, I can't guarantee you that they work, but they're full of good things for you, and they're from my friend Marinka Blossfield's cookbook called Essential Nourishment, and it's recipes from her Estonia farm. So join me today as we take a trip to Estonia and look at Marika's recipe, and it's called Potent Round Brownies, and they're the aphrodisiac brownies. Up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show, I'll be right back. Lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park. She's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park. The passion at the park. The passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Welcome back, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, I get to meet all sorts of people with all my travels all over the place, and at the Taste Awards, I met Marika Blossfield, and she's from Estonia, and you could Google map that. That's over in Europe, and she has a cookbook called Essential Nourishment Recipes from my Estonian farm, and she gave me a copy of it, and I just have to say that it is a very pretty cookbook, and it's very earthy, I would say, and it's just so pretty with uh, polenta and pasta and raw tomatoes and black bean tomato sauce, and it's also kind of like a lifestyle guide, and it has a whole bunch of tips like, are you craving uh, seasonal, or do you really crave something other than food, or are you in need of movement, or do you crave bitter foods? Just so interesting things, and very scientific here with the processing of um, fats and oils, and it's just such an interesting book that I've really had the pleasure of looking at. Well, on page 258, I was flipping through there, and I saw this recipe. It's called Potent Round Brownies, and it says um, that she's worked out this recipe, and it has cayenne pepper, and has dark chocolate, and we actually bought something new today, agave nectar, which is something new to y'all, too. Um, I felt so trendy buying this, and it's kind of like um, some kind of syrup. Um, so it kind of has different grades like the maple syrup. So this is amber and um, it's just a sweetener and it's more natural. Um, you can look it up. It's agave nectar. But we're going to be doing this one because this one says that this could help restore vitality, um, strengthens the kidneys and energy, special uh, for the Valentine's Day, uh, kind of an aphrodisiac too. Um, I don't know if it will work like that, but um, it sounds really good with, I mean, full of protein, good for you. It's the Potent Round Brownies from Essential Nourishment by Marika Blasfield, up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. First up, to make the Potent Round Brownies, you need to melt the chocolate that goes in it. So you'll need a double boiler, and this is just actually some water down in this one with actually a pan that fits in the top. And you can do a makeshift one if you really needed to, but I have this one, and we're gonna get this boiling underneath, and you're gonna have to melt the chocolate. And what you need is about 10 and a half 
AMC is and it's 60 uh, percent cacao I don't know if that's how you really say it but I, I like saying it that way so it's cacao um, so it's real dark and deep chocolate so it's good for you and we're just gonna put that in the pot about ten and a half ounces and we've got to stir it so it doesn't burn so let me get that started okay now we need to work on the batter mixture and today I'm using the blender hit the thumbs up because I found all the the blender parts I can't believe that but um, you could probably use a food processor or really if you got into it mixing it by hand but you've got to mash up these beans in the actual blender and I've got two regular cans of black beans here that I drained off and I rinsed. So those go right on in there. So let's go ahead and pour that right on in there. And I'm using four eggs today. So I have four eggs and we're just gonna put these all in the blender and then we're gonna blend them up all real nicely with this blender here today. That took me forever to find those parts, by the way, because I, I'm always scared that it's gonna fall down out of the top of the um, actual cabinet where I stored it very safely but um, I might not have done that so well last time but I, I even found the lid look at that but we're gonna blend this together until it's well blended okay we have our bean and our egg mixture right here and now we need to add the other ingredients and Marika talks about them in her book how they help with like dilating the capillary I don't even know how to say that word you could google that one too Capilla, capilla, capillaries. There we go. That's what it is. But this one has ground cayenne in it. So there's a pinch of that. So let's put a pinch of that. And that's supposed to just um, light things up with a, uh, it's just a little pinch with that. And a pinch of salt. So let's just do a pinch of that. And we're using agave nectar, which is a syrup um, from the agave plant I get. Blue agave. I don't know. I felt very earthy buying it. But we're using two-thirds cup of that. And anything in a squeeze bottle is just fine with me. I mean, look at that. And um, it looks like maple syrup. You could actually, according to her book, use the maple syrup. But let me taste it. It kind of tastes like honey. Um, it's very good. It tastes caramely. Um, but that goes right on in there, just like that. And now we need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I just dumped that in. You know I do that. So let's go ahead and add that. And we're going to blend this until it's smooth. So let's get that going. And then add a half a teaspoon of baking powder until it's well blended. Now in another bowl, you've got your bean mixture and everything else mixed up in there. Go ahead and pour that right on into the bowl because what we're going to do is the chocolate melted down in the double boiler and look at that, it worked just fine and didn't burn at all and we're going to pour that right on into the mixture and we're just going to hand blend this around until it's well mixed. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, I preheated the oven to 400 degrees and I've got my muffin tins here and I put the little liners in there. You can make that look all pretty depending on what pattern that you want. And it makes about 12. So go ahead and start filling out all the liners with the batter. Isn't that great? It doesn't use any flour. It uses the beans and won't people be surprised? I'm going to go ahead and pour these in there and I'll check back with you in just a moment. There we go. We filled all our liners and we preheated the oven to 400 degrees and we're going to bake these for about 15 minutes. We're going to keep our eyes on them so they don't burn, but this looks like the richest chocolate batter that you've ever seen in it. Sure does smell like chocolate and people will really be surprised. So let's go ahead and pop them in now. Set your timer. There you have it, Marika Blossfeld's Potent Round Brownies, or what I like to call Black Bean Brownies, because won't people be surprised that all they have in them is black beans and 
no flower at all, but look at them. They look like little brownie bites, and it, they just look really moist and chocolatey, and we put them in the paper liners, and they made about 12. Um, you can probably get a little bit more at them if you don't overfill, but I can't wait to try this one. This will be a surprise, so let me give this a try. They say that they're aphrodisiac because they've got all this good stuff in it that helps your body with that, and I don't know if that will work well for you, but they're just good for you, so let me give it a try. Mmm. Wow. That is like the moistest brownie that I've ever tasted. Mmm. Mmm. And it tastes so chocolatey and got a nice, very deep flavor. And that um, agave nectar really changes it up. It really like makes them taste really good, I think. And, and you can't tell there's black beans in this at all, Marika. That is um, amazing, and I hope you get a chance to try this. Give it to your sweetie for Valentine's Day. Maybe it'll work for you. If it does, leave a comment down at the bottom, and don't forget to take pictures of it and send it to me. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. Of course, add me on Google+. Plus. I'm there, too. Add me as a friend on Facebook, and of course, subscribe, because there'll be some more cooking shows real soon. And don't forget to check out Marika's cookbook. It's called Essential Nourishment by Marika Blossfield. Recipes from my Estonian farm. It's really neat. I really like it. Thank you so much, Marika, for your recipe. Y'all give it a try and let me know how it turns out. I love y'all. Happy Valentine's Day, and I'll be back real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.